Is you gonna start praying to Allah? Huh? What you gonna do? It says, Ephesians 6 and 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Not physical wickedness, but spiritual wickedness in high places. Why? Because Satan is controlling his puppets. And see, when your faith start wavering, you become one of his minions too. See what I'm saying? He start working on your mind to make you even weaker in the faith. To make you doubt the Heavenly Father. Everything that the Lord has shown you and done for you, then you start doubting. Why? Because you let Satan in your mind. You start letting him conquer your brain. That's not, and that's not the way the Lord has built you. See what I'm saying? The Lord has, once the Lord gives you this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, it's up to you to play your part and keep praying to your how about shooting out a shot for more faith. See what I'm saying? Let me go to Hebrews. Hebrews 11 and 1. It said, now faith, faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, we don't see Yahweh Shah right now, but we know he exists. You don't even see Yahweh right now, but you know he exists. You don't even see the angels in the spiritual world right now, but you know they exist. You can't see the wind, but you know it's there because you can feel it. The same way with your how about shimmy I was shot. When you're in a tough situation and the Lord brings you out of it, who is that? That's your how about shimmy I was shot. That's not Jesus. That's not Allah. That's not a uh, Buddha. See what I'm saying? That's your how about shimmy I was shot. Your Lord and Savior. That's not the swamp monster that deliver you out of this situation. That's not Satan. That Well, unless you worshiping Satan, because Satan can bless you bless you too on the left-hand side. That's if you worshiping Satan. But if you call yourself trying to live righteous by the law, statute, commandments of the Bible, and you get blessing, let's say all of a sudden you get a $100 check in the mail from nowhere, who blessed you with that? That was your how about shimmy I was shot. That wasn't you doing your own thing or you blessing yourself. No, that was your how about Shimmy I was shot blessing you. It says, uh, oh, see, that's the spirit. Your how about Shimmy I was shot. The water, your how about Shimmy I was shot. This is Hebrews 10 and 23. It says, well, I start at verse 22. Hebrews 10 and 22. Let us draw near with a true heart, meaning a true mind. You know how they say in the hood, like to keep it real? Well, this is what the scripture is talking about. Keep it real within yourself. Keep it real within your mind. It said, let us draw near with a true mind, true heart, meaning a true mind, from the Hebrew word law, meaning your mind, in full assurance of faith, in full assurance. Not half, not a third, not a fourth, not an eighth, but full assurance. Meaning be a, a being positive in your faith and believing in Yahweh by Shimei was shot without any inkling of a doubt. It says, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled, meaning your mind sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Now, how, well, how do you wash your body with pure water? That's what the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the word. Because you could go home and wash your body with soap all you want. You still going to be dirty. You clean for that moment while you bathing, while you got the soap suds all on your body and you rinsing it off. 
you dry off, put your clothes on. Ten minutes later, your body dirty, dirty again. See what I'm saying? So how do you clean your body? With the washing of the word. See what I'm saying? Not going to some old wicked church with some old uh, pedophile or homosexual pastor putting his hands on you and then dumping you in a in a uh, in a uh, in a baptizing pool that you done had eight women on their periods getting baptized in the same water. That ain't how you get clean. You still dirty. Your spirit is still dirty. It's still messed up. Because it ain't clean. Why? Because you didn't know who you was. You still call yourself uh, 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 Fabian the, the, uh, the, the Presbyterian. You see what I'm saying? You're not calling yourself by a Hebrew name. You're not calling yourself uh, Brother Amawan Ayash uh, Bun, uh, Bun Yahweh the Bun Yasha Allah. No, you're calling yourself uh, uh, Damien the, the Baptist Deacon of, uh, of uh, Holy Trinity Second Church from Under the Sun Neighborhood Pitbull uh, Third Street Second Alley uh, First Dumpster Baptist Church You see what I'm saying? Read on it says <laughs> Let us hold fast The profession of our faith Without wavering For he is faithful That promise See, it said, without wavering, meaning what? Without any doubt. Saying, well, uh, if, uh, I guess, if you, if you see fit or, Lord, uh, maybe you don't feel like it right now, but I was kind of wondering. No, you have to be bold and, and knowing in your faith that the Lord is going to answer your prayer. Yahweh Bashimi Awashai, kill this wicked nigga right now. Not no... Uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I didn't mean to disturb you, but uh, can you please uh, get rid of this bad guy? He's he steady harassing me, and I'm kind of scared. And uh, I know that you're powerful, so they say. No, you have to be in full assurance of your faith. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shalak Rayam, Yum Yum, I thought this wicked nigga. Bubba Kasha, the water, you how about Shimia was shot? You see what I'm saying? You should know beyond a shadow of doubt that you how about Shimia was shot gonna answer your prayer without you wavering and getting weak, man. Telling brothers, oh man, I, I don't think I can be in this truth no more, man, because I done fell in love with pork, man. My grandma, she, I went over to my grandma's house and she cooked me a pork chop sandwich and Man, I got weak, man, and I fell in love with it, man, so I'm back to eating pork. That's some old BS cop out, man. You see what I'm saying? You shouldn't let your faith waver like that, man. All oh, the cares of this world. Let me get a scripture. Oh, matter of fact, that's the spirit. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, <laughs> it is impossible to please him. Who is the him? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because they all they one and the same. Not saying they the same person, but they share the same like mind, the same spirit. See what I'm saying? It said, but without faith, without faith, it is impossible to please him. You how about Shimia was shy. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. So, so you got to believe on the name. Through faith. You got to believe that the most high name is, is Yahweh. If Yahweh is, he is. That's the breath. You got to believe that Yahweh, Yahweh, the most high, he is. He exists. He's the supreme being. And under him is who? His son, Yahweh Shai. He's, he's he the savior or he the deliverer. You see what I'm saying? But you got to what? Believe. You can't come to them half-assing. 
Like the scriptures say, you have to believe. It says, <laughs> For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. What does it mean, diligently? Like, no matter what happens in your life, no matter what obstacle you may face in life, you still going to honor and praise and reverence Yahweh Bashim Yahweh No matter what, you still going to give glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You still going to go out there on the highways and byways and do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You see what I'm saying? I don't care if you got to walk three blocks to a, 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 a a certain area or a certain uh, atmosphere, see what I'm saying, away from your house. I don't care if you walk to a park that's out in the open. You see what I'm saying? As long as you go out there and prophesy to the wind and put forth some kind of effort, you're showing your diligence to your how about Shimmy I was shot. You putting forth some kind of effort to go out there and teach the truth. You're not staying in the comfort of your own home where you can eat and sleep. See what I'm saying? When it's time to do the work, it's time to do the work. You get what I'm saying? That's what the Lord honors. That's what the Lord loves. You putting your best foot forward. Even though I'm not around a whole crowd of people, still, I, I'm still putting my body up as a, as a living sacrifice for you, how about shooting me out with shot? Anything can happen. I'm out here in the elements of, of nature, of the of the air, of the city. See what I'm saying? Anything can still happen. Satan can put the spirit on somebody to come up and shoot me in my arm or something. Or have a wicked nigga try and fight me just because I'm reading the Bible. I mean, he's gonna get his ass smashed, but still. Satan can put the spirit on somebody to try and come up and hinder me from teaching this truth. Bring the police along. Oh, uh, you know you can't be uh, reading the Bible. Man, it's a public place, man, I'm at. You see what I'm saying? I'm out here on the highways and byways teaching this truth. This is public property, man. This is my constitutional right. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. But the Lord wants you to come out and put forth some type of effort, man. It said, this is back in Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, if I was half-assing in this truth, not trying to come out here and teach the truth, like use every excuse I can to find a way of not going out teaching the truth. Do you think he'll reward me? You know, you see what I'm saying? Do, do you think he'll keep blessing me with my daily bread? Do you think he'll keep blessing me with, with different gifts here and there? Do you think he'll keep blessing me, number one, with more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding if I'm half assing No. Why? Because I'm not diligently seeking him. I'm playing around. The Lord ain't gonna, ain't gonna bless you if you playing around with His word, man. Like the scriptures say, He's a rewarder to them that diligently seek Him. Meaning you have to constantly seek this truth, man. Yeah, maybe times you take a break to balance your balance things out. Cause that's what you how about shit me out shot deal with is balance. He don't want you to eat too much and then you vomit it back up. You see what I'm saying? You might not feel like studying right no more. You get burnt out. No, you have to have balance. But number one, in the truth, you got to have what? Faith. To what? Keep praying to you, how about Shimmy Shot? For more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, for more faith, for more strength, for him not to take his oil away from you, man. Cause once he take that oil from you, you're done. You might as well go drown yourself in the nearest pond.
This is uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. I'm going to start at 31. No, actually, <laughs> actually, verse, I'm going to start at verse 26. Hebrews 10 and 26, it says what? For if we sin willfully, meaning what? You know you're supposed to go out there and teach, but you make up some kind of pitiful excuse not to go, you're willfully sinning. Or if you know you're supposed to help this brother do this or do that, and you make up some excuse, either because your woman said don't go, or because you just got tired and don't feel like going, even though you told this brother, you gave him your word that you were going to help him do this, and you reneged on him, that's like willfully sinning, man, because you lied to your brother. You get what I'm saying? Or your brother asked you for some help, saying he need $20 to, to help pay on his light bill so his lights won't get cut off. But you just got blessed at your job with 180 extra dollars that you ain't going to do nothing but blow it off on video games and, 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 and whores. And instead of you helping your brother, you keep that money being selfish and spend it on whores, you willfully send it. Why? Because you lying to your brother again. You see what I'm saying? The Lord told you to help this brother out, but instead you were disobedient and rebellion to your to uh to your how about shimmy out shy and spent that money on some old nasty whore. Now you're broke when you could have helped your brother out, and the Lord might have would have blessed you with more money. See what I'm saying? That's why I say for if we if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, meaning you leave this truth and go back into this world, you go back to commit your wickedness and your sins to being a nigga in this world again. It says that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins. That's right. There's no more sacrifice for your sins. That's it. You how about shoot me out of shot and not finna get beat, tortured, spit on, persecuted, and mocked once again just for your trifling ass. Because you got weak in the faith and decided to fall out and let Satan tempt your mind and to draw you out of this truth. You how about shoot me out of shot ain't finna climb back up on that cross again and die for your monkey ass? No. Because you didn't appreciate this truth. The Lord opened up your mind to the wonderful mysteries and deep dark sayings of his word, man. That you got people that's paying $10,000 to go to theologian school to go to school to be a preacher and they can't even receive the deep dark sayings of this book right here. They don't even know, not half, they don't even know a third of what you know. They don't even have an inkling of, of the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that you have, that you've been blessed with through, gra through grace of your how about shit, I was shot. But you take this word and cast it behind your back just to go back into the world and chase some old funky, uh, funky broad? That's why your how about shit, I was shot, gonna destroy you, man. Because you niggas out there, it's half as it, man. You're not keeping it real with this word, man. You playing. You BSing around with this Bible, man. This Bible is no joke, man. I love this word that you have about Shimmy I was shot, man. I love the deep, dark uh, sayings that he's un 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 uh, unraveled and, and, and revealed to me, man. The, the, the mysteries that he have decoded for me, man. For my understanding of the, of the Bible. Not saying that I'm going to go out here and just show everybody everything that, that the Lord has shown me in this book. Because it might not be time for that right now. 
But the things that he has revealed to me, I am teaching. The basic thing. Because everybody can't receive some of the deep, dark sayings. You see what I'm saying? It's a wonderful thing, man. This is a wonderful gift that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has given to me, man. And it has given to you brothers out there. That's why it don't make no sense, man. That's why it angers me when you brothers take this truth lightly, man. And start falling off for some old weak nonsense. For some old coochie. Well, my wife don't feel like I should go out there anymore because I'm putting my life in danger. And so what? You're supposed to put your life on the line for your how about shoot me out with shot. It's a commandment. You see what I'm saying? What you think? You going out here on the highways and byways is going to be all peaches and cream? Hell, it comes with opposition. It comes with obstacles. It comes with fighting demons, man. We have to do this in this truth. That's our job. If, if the Lord felt like we couldn't handle it, he wouldn't have gave it to us.